everyone and welcome back to my channel for some cleaning motivation. I have a ton of it in today's video for you and I am super excited to have you here with me. We are going to be tackling some cleaning. We're going to be doing a little bit of deep cleaning as well and I hope that this video gives you all of the motivation that you may be needing to tackle some stuff around your own home. I would love nothing more than for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel for more cleaning motivation every week if this is your first time here. And I am even more excited to share that today's video is a collaboration with one of my very best friends, Monica. Her name is Monica Rose here on YouTube and she is just the sweetest human ever. She has so much great cleaning motivation on her channel, but she also does some really beautiful decor. So you guys need to go check her out. You will love her channel just as much as I do. She is amazing at what she does and you need to check her out and subscribe to her channel while you are over there. Go watch her video after you are done watching this video. Everything will be linked down below in my description box. Go over, leave her a comment and tell her that you are coming from my channel and say hi and give her a big, huge virtual hug. We are going to be starting my video in my living room and I'm going to just tidy it up really quick. There's just some random stuff all over the place that doesn't necessarily belong in here and we're just going to straighten it up before we get to dusting and vacuuming in here. using my shark rocket vacuum and I'm also going to use this vacuum to vacuum up my couch underneath the cushions because it's super nasty if you're here for the first time my name is Bronte and I am a stay-at-home mom of two I have an almost six-year-old and an almost three-year-old and I also have two dogs who do sit on our furniture so stuff gets super dirty around here super quick so we're going to clean it all up clean up the living room and clean up the couch as well. I would love for you to stick around and subscribe. And if you are coming from Monica's channel, hello to you all. I am so excited to have you all here. And I hope that you are enjoying today's video so far. If so, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below introducing yourself. You make promises, then you let them go. So if you just wanna have my body, find somebody One area of my house that I always forget to clean up is this shelf up here that we have behind our couch. We have picture frames and stuff up on the shelf and I always forget to dust it. I always forget to clean it up so I'm going to be doing that today. And I'm just taking a microfiber cloth and my vacuum and just wiping everything down and dusting it really well because it's been a hot minute. And I am also going to wipe down my faux plant that I have in my living room as well. Here is your friendly reminder that you need to wipe down your plant leaves because they do get dusty whether it's fake or not. Mine is fake because I cannot seem to keep a plant alive to save my life. I can keep little humans and animals alive, but for some reason I have like a black thumb and I cannot keep plants alive. Are you somebody who can keep plants alive or are you somebody like myself who cannot?
Posting pictures on the gram so other people know that we're more than friends. Ever since you came around, I've never been sober. Always in my head. Met you at a time when I was so low. Went from just talking to taking you home. I don't wanna go back to who I used to be. So we are gonna move on to tackling the dining and kitchen area, kind of the same area. We don't have a huge house, so it's pretty easy not to have to move around all over the place, but we're gonna tackle everything in here. We are gonna clean up the dining area, then we are going to clean up the kitchen area. There's tons of paperwork and a bunch of stuff all over the table that does not belong on the dining table at all. So we're gonna take care of that, wipe the dining table down, and then we're also going to clean my disgusting, disgusting dining chairs. My kids have kind of just ruined them. They're also eight years old, so it's not like they're brand new, but oh my gosh, are they nasty. I'm gonna show you how I clean these, and I'm also going to give you some of my favorite cleaning hacks and tips, so I hope you guys are ready for those. They help clean the kitchen up so nicely and get everything done a lot more efficiently. The first thing that we're going to do is wipe the dining table down and I'm using the, some Thieves cleaner from Young Living with hydrogen peroxide and lemon oil in the spray bottle as well. We're just going to wipe everything down and then we are going to move on to cleaning the dining chairs because like I already said, they are so, so gross. You guys will see here in a second what I mean. There's water stains all over them. There's food stains all over them and they're just really nasty. So we're gonna clean these up. You can really tell what chairs my kids have sat in and have been sitting in for a while. I'm going to use some glass cleaner like Windex and spray them down and just go over them with a scrub brush. This works really well. My chairs are kind of beyond repair so they're not going to be perfectly clean. But if you have newer chairs that haven't been thrashed like mine have, this will work really, really well. It works great on microfiber as well. chairs are getting all nice and cleaned up. I'm also going to be scrubbing the table a little bit as well. I wasn't really planning to scrub the table, but as I was cleaning the chairs, I noticed that there was just food smushed and caked and dried into the cracks on the table. So I'm going to take the scrub brush that I'm using for the chairs and scrub the table as well. My kids sit in the same spots every time they eat and there's just food caked onto the table and the chairs and it's so gross i don't know what it is couldn't tell you if you asked me but it's something crusty there's stuff all over the place there's pen and stuff on the chairs and this windex or the glass cleaner works really really well at getting pen off too not so much permanent marker just like a regular ballpoint pen it works great at getting everything off and like i mentioned earlier if your stuff is newer and not as tattered or thrashed as mine is this will work a lot better too you can also use rubbing alcohol with warm water in a spray bottle and do the same kind of method you don't have to use windex that works really great too i used to use that when we had a microfiber couch and it worked like a charm getting all the water spots and everything off of the microfiber it worked so great at cleaning everything up and then i would just take a rag versus a scrub brush a rag that was similar in color to whatever i was cleaning and just wipe everything down and wipe out any of the water spots and it worked great tell me can we meet up at your place tonight honey i'm coming over yeah you know me I would give up anything for you You say it, you know I'll do it, yeah I don't believe in no Just last week you called me your 
So as I had mentioned when I first started cleaning the chairs is my chairs didn't end up being perfect. They just never do anymore. I think they're just beyond repair at this point and we just need to invest in some new chairs for our table. So if you have any recommendations for chairs that have no cloth and no leather, please send them my way, message me on Instagram, leave me a comment here, whatever works best for you. If you have Instagram, give me a follow. I'll have everything linked down below in the description box to make it easy for you. I would love to have you over there. I share a little bit more mom life on there than I do on here. So if you're into that stuff, go give me a follow on Instagram or even on Facebook. If you have a Facebook over Instagram, I will have everything linked down below for you. We are going to clean up the kitchen area now. I had fake eyelashes glued or stuck to my vase of dying flowers, super classy. So we took those off, we got rid of the dying flowers and now we're going to clean up the kitchen area. I am using that Thebes hydrogen peroxide and lemon oil mixture to wipe down my counters. I've been trying to move a little bit more towards natural cleaners. I still do use my regular stuff though. So I've been trying to wipe down the countertops and all that stuff with the Thieves Cleaner by Young Living. I actually really, really, really love it. I've been using it on and off for a couple of years and just recently dove into actually getting involved with the whole Young Living thing. But we're gonna clean up the kitchen. We are going to clean up some dishes and I'm gonna show you a couple more cleaning hacks for you guys that I really find helpful for myself and I hope that you will as well. And so we can connect again I'm feeling the purpose I know we're not perfect But my soul is reaching out I'm gonna hand you the truth Hand you the truth I ain't got a calling card What can I do? Froze up by you Taking me by surprise If you have been around for a while, then you know I love using Barkeeper's Friend Soft Cleanser in my sink, but I've been out of it for so long and I keep forgetting to buy it. I'm actually going to add that to my cart right now and buy it because it works so well to clean up stainless steel sinks. Like, if you have a stainless steel sink, you need that in your life. It works so well, but today we are going to be using Comet Powdered Comet. And this stuff works great too, but the Barkeeper's Friend, there's just nothing like it. But I'm going to use the Comet and I'm going to get my sink all cleaned up. It is the Comet with bleach, so it is disinfecting my sink as well, which we love. We want it all nice and clean and disinfected. So I'm going to clean all of that up and then we will move on to cleaning up other areas of the kitchen too. I'm wondering how many men that you trapped end up in the ocean. I wish that I could understand why I had this. Time to clean up the stovetop area, and I am going to show you my cleaning hack that I picked up from Go Clean Co. It's an Instagram that I follow, and this is the best ever. You can use Cascade or dishwasher tablets 
put them in your sink with hot water, plug up the sink if you have a larger sink, and just put the grates from your stovetop in there. The dishwasher tabs work really well at breaking up any grease or food that is caked on or baked on to those grates. I also put the little burner discs in there as well and I just let those soak while I clean everything else up around my kitchen and it works wonders. You can also put your grates in your dishwasher though. That works really great too, but my dishwasher was full and running already so I didn't have the space to do so. So I'm just gonna put them in the sink and let them soak for a bit. Another cleaning hack I wanted to share with you is taking a butter knife and a microfiber cloth or any sort of cloth or paper towel and wrap the paper towel or the towel around that butter knife to get in between those little cracks if your stove doesn't totally meet your countertops like mine. I take the butter knife and I put it in those little cracks right there and clean out all of the food that I splatter everywhere and get that all nice and cleaned up as well. And to clean the stovetop today, I am just using that Thieves Cleaner mixture. It works really well. Sometimes I do like to use glass cleaner on my black stovetop and that works great too. It's super amazing for a nice streak free clean once you're all done. But I am going to be using the Thieves Cleaner on pretty much everything in the kitchen today except for my sink and other stuff like that. Though I should say no, 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 no. Here in the ocean, nobody can hear you screaming. And if I knew better, I would never need the rush. And if I just think twice, I never would have had this feeling. I should have said no, 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 no. So we went to the park and then came back and now I'm going to finish up my cleaning. We are going to rinse these off really well. I also put the filters from my microwave in this dishwater mixture over there and it works great. You barely really have to work on scrubbing anything off once you have let them soak for a while. Just take my finger and rub off anything that hasn't just soaked off itself and it works so so well. I am also going to be trying the Thieves Cleaner on my refrigerator today and I was actually pleasantly surprised that it didn't make my refrigerator super streaky and actually cleaned it up really really well. I had been scared to use it on such a large surface area of the stainless steel but it actually worked really really great and I was so shocked and so surprised and excited about it. Now that I have cleaned up the kitchen area, well, for the most part, I mean, life with kids, it's never ever clean or stays clean, but I'm going to vacuum up the kitchen area as well. I am so excited to share with you guys that we have ordered a box of flooring in the color that I have loved for years. So we are gonna take that box, lay it out, and see if we really truly love it before going ahead and buying all of the flooring to redo all of our flooring downstairs. But I am so excited that we are finally moving in that direction. We try to keep our big projects to one a year, one expensive project a year. And last year we chose to get new appliances over doing some sort of big project and this year we are choosing to do our flooring and i'm so excited about it as you can see i have two different color floorings downstairs two completely different kinds of flooring downstairs so i'm excited to have one seamless flooring flowing throughout the downstairs of the house i cannot begin to express how excited i am but i will share it all with you guys once the flooring comes and all that stuff 
for now we are going to clean up the little powder room the little potty room here and we are going to wipe down the toilet because life with little kids it needs to be cleaned all of the time and i am using some antibacterial spray i can't even remember what it was and i am going to be using clorox bleach cleaning toilet bowl gel because gross toilets are nasty and this one needed bleach it was so so gross i did not want to show you guys the toilet bowl but like i said i've got a three-year-old and a six-year-old or well almost three and almost six and whoo boy oh boy do they do a number on that toilet over there so we're gonna wipe everything else down in here and get that all wrapped up and then we are gonna move on to mopping up the floors because they desperately need it two kids two dogs me and my husband, the floors are always dirty and always needing to be vacuumed or mopped, I swear. So I'm going to be using powdered Tide laundry detergent in super hot water in my O Cedar Easy Ring mop bucket. This works like a charm. Get you some powdered Tide laundry detergent and try it. It works so, so good. I got this tip from Go Clean Co. I can't even say that I came up with this because I did not. I got this from Go Clean Co. on Instagram. I've been using it for months now and it works amazing. You can use this to clean your baseboards as well. Clean your walls, clean your doors, and it just cleans everything up super nicely. It is a surfactant and it works really well at getting any sticky, greasy gunk off of the floors, the walls, or your baseboards. In my heart I knew there was something I hope today's video has brought you a ton of cleaning motivation. Thank you all so much for being here and for watching. I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel if this is your first time over here. It would mean the absolute world to me. And also do not forget to go and check out Monica's channel after you are completely done watching this video. She is so amazing and you guys will love her so much. She has such great cleaning motivation and she does some really beautiful home decor as well. So go give her a follow, go check her out. I hope that you all have a super amazing day. Don't forget to come and stop by and say hi in the comments before you leave here. I hope that you enjoyed today's video and I would love for you to give it a thumbs up if you did so I can create more content like this. If you need more cleaning motivation, go check out Monica's video and thank you guys again. I will catch you in the next one.